and some audio would actually help. Good evening, everybody. Um, today we have the release of Season 10 upon us, which brings us a total of two new um, Space Elite queues. They also come in uh, the normal and advanced difficulty, and I definitely should mute the video. Um, we already saw them on YouTube and everywhere, so I'm not entirely sure if you guys want to see them. So it will be the first uh, question for today if we should do those cues later on. Um, we can truly really get a good team today, I guess, so it will most likely be just random queue normal runs. And if you want to see those, um, type something in chat, which might also win you like 10 or um, 10 clients and team array kits. We'll have the test of a giveaway later on. And if you want to be liable to win, you just need to type something in chat, whatever you want. Um, the chat should actually load. That would really help for this happen though. So we'll give it a few seconds. Technical issues. Um, in the meantime, we also have two new um, episodes that we can play as in PvE random queue events. Or uh, it's, it's not actually queued, but just the um, storyline missions basically. You can do them at level 10. So I thought about um, bringing up my Delta Tune to level 10. And then doing the missions um, on. In the meantime, we also have and new for some reason episodes that we can't play. I'm talking to myself, and the chat is not loading. What is going on? Hmm. I might just use the other page to see what. I can't connect there. Okay, we can't see the video, but we don't see a chat. Hmm. By the way, we are rolling on a new microphone. Um, if you do have any issues with voice activation, if uh, well, I, I suppose I will be hammering the keyboard quite a lot. So um, if that gets overly annoying, just let me know. I don't know how yet because obviously my cat is not working. Um, so we have the patch notes for today's um, Season 10 release. We have the new two featured episodes, which is Delta Flight and Blood of the Ancients. You need to do the Blood of Ancients first to unlock the second one that we want to do later on. We have the three new queued events, the Delta Resistance Reputation, and you get the reputation marks from uh, either one of the new three queued events or you go to Buck Hunt and the Battle of Corfaz. So, Probably the normal difficulties or uh, the bug hunt will be preferable to do. Um, we have the enhanced pilot spec tree now with 15 more points that you can put in there. We can look at that a little later. Uh, we have the new pilot co uh, coming at us. So we do have quite a few changes. Also the new projects. Why am I here in my... Um, so we have the new um, projects which allow you to get m convert more marks at once. However, that didn't really work for my tune that has like 30,000 marks right now. I don't really know why that is the case. Um, we might have an audio problem. Okay, let me actually log into the game you what I'm talking about. And you might want to tell me in game if you guys have some chat going for me. Hmm. 
This is very odd. Um, we have some new um, visual things. I mean, the rest is not really that important, I feel. Um, the new reputation has one defensive ability that seems pretty good. Um, outside of that, I guess we covered most of it. The sector space revamp is well prone for flying around, but that's about it. Um, if you didn't see the new ships out of that lockbox yet, uh, this is the page where they uh, we uh, saw the one yet. Um, so we have the two. Oh, actually, this is the lockbox. The art games page from the. Um, Stop it. The page is always moving when it refreshes something. But actually, okay, so we have the two, two new uh, ships the Zindi and Sectoid thing. Um, you get the Lieutenant Tactical and Lieutenant Commander. Um, Actually, it's a commander tactical too. Uh, Lieutenant engineer, Lieutenant commander, science command, Lieutenant universal, which is a decent layout for a ship. Um, you can get your three engineering abilities in there, like emergency party shields, weapons, and direct energy modulation. You get the uh, science with command for uh, gravity well TBR if you want, and it has a limiters. That would be the uh, somewhat standard layout or some fancy command abilities if you can think of a nice combination. Um, the ship itself is okay, I guess. I mean, you only get the 4 3 layout, you get a pretty high shield modifier. Um, you get a little more subsystem power because other escorts only get a 15 2 weapons. Um, so, this is basically an escort, and you get the hangar bay. Uh, the trait, however, if you unlock it at um, tier 5 as it is a tier 6 ship, you get increased um, defense and damage resistance, and I don't really think that will be worth slotting. Um, the ship, however, has five tactical consoles, so you're in a pretty solid setup. Promise, I don't really know why you would use this specific one. You get the new pilot thing that is order okay but at the uh incident lieutenant rank yeah it's okay super awesome the primate dreadnought cruiser um gets four and four weapons as a crew good uh you however only get three tactical consoles that's a pretty huge thing i guess uh for these type of ships you get the lieutenant tactical and you get the lieutenant Commander Universal Command here, uh, which is basically a forced tactical on you. Uh, Lieutenant Engineer Intel, Engineering Commander. So this is pretty good because you can get the um, subsystem safeties override thing into this guy, the uh, Intel one, and use on the other one emergency party shields, um, direct energy modulation, emergency party weapons, and then you can put in a defensive thing like um, auxiliary to structural integrity field. And that usually makes it just look a lot easier. Um, let me actually type a message name. And you get the lieutenant science, which is not such a big deal, basically um, defensive stuff, or um, you could put in a tie consent as major options. Um, once again, the super weapon ingenuity um, gives you, after you use um, beam overload 1, 2, or 3, an additional beam overload 1, while this one has a 100% crit chance and no energy power drain. That is more of a PvP-ish thing as it highly increases uh, the burst damage of it, but for PvE you don't really want to use Beam Overload anyways, and this one doesn't get it into a range 
where it's actually competitive to other sustainabilities. Um, so this one might be interesting for the pets because uh, the fighters get a array turret, Tito launcher, fight will one. This is uh, okay, possibly. The problem is you can't really judge how good a pet is unless you have actually tried it because you don't know how they fly around. Like some pets just perform horribly even though they look nice on uh, the papers. The heavy fighter, however, looks pretty damn good on paper. You get two beam arrays and one quantum torpedo launcher. Good thing about quantum torpedoes is they travel faster uh, than most other, or like uh, they travel faster than targetable devices like the heavy plasma of scorpion fighters. And they get the um, beam fight will three torpedo spread too. So this is a pretty good offensive combination. And you get the scratch the paint, which is a new pilot ability uh, that when they ram the enemy, drains some of their shields. Problem is it's not listed in the combat log, so we can't actually know how good it really is. But it looks decently okay-ish if you do it in a PvP map. Okay. Uh... It is suggested that I might try out the Windows Explorer for the stream chat. I don't actually know why my Chrome is not showing it. Very really weird. Another one up. I'm looking at myself, but the stream chat is not instantly loading. Okay, and the last ship that comes from the slot box is the Malon Battle Cruiser, and this one is just strange. I mean, you get two tactical consoles, and if you upgrade it, you get an additional science console, which makes this a two four four layout. Um, yeah, it was nice seeing you, Malon Battle Cruiser. But I guess we are finished with you. Okay. So that's most of the things to look at. Um, I'll just try um, leveling my Delta Tune second here. Uh, so this is now my Tune basically. I don't know why I can't escape that window away. So this is the new Iconian um, reputation. You get this energy refrequ energy refrequencer, which um, heals you for a portion of your directed energy damage, uh, two point five percent of your outgoing damage as a whole heal to you. In the effect, however, may only be triggered ten times per second. So it looks pretty strong defensive like for whole healing. Um, the rest, 5% bonus exotic damage is probably not worth it. Uh, radiation detonation matrix. Um, makes a, an AoE of 1k radius. The interesting part of it is uh, the buff removal. However, it only has a 2.5% proc chance. So yeah, we'll have to see how that really works out more of a PvP thing, I'd say. The stabilizing phaser array, um, phase array, when you uh, get damaged, you get an immunity for three seconds on a 60 second cooldown. Uh, it's pretty long a lockout for only a three second effect. However, immunities are pretty strong. So this is just uh, hoping for RNGs to give you. Uh, the deploy sensor interface platform looks something similar uh, to the the other one, the counter command yield generator. So I guess this will be a space thing where you put a small device, a an interface platform, which it says here, and it generates some feedback and reduces the enemy's damage if they continue shooting you. It taunts the enemy. Uh, and it gains some additional hull per ally, so it's destroyable, probably one heavy plasma will take it out, I guess. Um, we'll have to see. 
but I don't really see it being that strong. Only real upside of this is we don't have four active space ones right now, so uh, it will definitely make its way into that, but um, it, it's not a game-changing thing, I guess. Uh, so this one is what the window looks for me right now, and even though, as you can see here, I have 32,000 marks, I only get the 50 mark thing, which luckily five seconds now. Uh, but even completing one early already, I uh, didn't unlock the higher tier ones. Either I'm that wrong or I can't seem to find it. So if any one of you has the same issue, uh, let me know. Okay. So then we have the pilot specialization now going all through uh, 30 points. You look at the starship trait that you get. Uh, you now get 2% all damage bonus per 2 seconds spent at full throttle. I don't really know why it's 2 seconds now. Uh, I think it was 21, but I'm not sure. All stacks immediately lost if your throttle is dropped. So um, it basically doubles its effect from 10 to 20% now, which makes this basically the counter to Anchored, which gives you 20% damage if you're standing still. Um, however, usually you have to move somewhat, and therefore uh, having both of, both of them seems pretty good. And if you run dual beams or something where it can fly into your enemy, there's no need to wait for Anchor to stack anymore. So this is a pretty good offensive thing, I'd say. Um, the abilities themselves are pretty good defensive-wise. Uh, reduces damage to shields by 20% to opposite facing. So if someone shoots your right facing, your left one gets increased. And if you get attacked on all four facings, um, you to turn immune to all damage for 4 seconds on a 30 second lockout, which is why I'm thinking that we are getting a lot of um, these immunities lately, like you get this 4 second lockout, and then you get the um, 3 seconds when someone is damaging you from the, um, the trade. What if we get the other immunity? Uh, I guess, yeah. And then we get the uh, temporal inside after hull heal. So there's just like 15 seconds of immunity, then you do the battle roll, and then the 30 seconds of this one might be ready again. So yeah, it's just a little too much, I'd say. But anyways, uh, the danger zone, increasing your damage the more allies or enemies are within your range. Um, per friend or foe, 2%. Second up to 10 times. It's sort of difficult to get that many enemies, um, but it's still a nice thing to have. And the last thing here, when missed, gain 2% critical severity. All sex removed on successful critical hit. So this is basically useless because we crit so much anyways. Um, or at least it's a very small thing. The lone wolf looks... It gives you defense, it has, I think, a two-minute cooldown. It, it placates enemies, which then drops uh, when they continue dealing damage. Um, doesn't really seem to be worth it. The interesting part, which we saw on the shuttles, is the shield scraping, which is when you ram to your enemy. Um, actually, go to space to see the proper tooltip for this. Um, then you basically fly into him and he loses shields. And if your pets do that, that is actually pretty funny because you have so many of them. Um, but their effect is... it's not really that strong. I mean, in, you get you deal 1000 damage to all shield facings. deals up to 3000 at 100% throttle. And this is probably the more important part. Uh, part you increase the damage to shields by five percent, which scales up to twenty percent at a hundred percent throttle. However, this is only shield damage, so yeah. Um, I'll probably stick with the intelligence the way it is, and go pilot the way it was.
Uh, mostly also because I can't really be bothered to level it up all the way. Which new pilot specialization is your favorite? And should I chat this way or is that just distracting? Chatting this way is fine. Uh, contact me in game if you guys have any uh, thoughts on the thing because the problem is my stream chat is not working currently. And luckily I did. So you guys shouldn't have any prompts. If you do have any prompts, just let me know. Uh, but basically this is what happens for me. It just shows the loading. Oh, welcome to the chat room. So let's test this out. Um, we'll try this one if it works for everyone uh, just to drop a message here. Hey, good evening, Cookie. Good evening, Jay. We already have a few people watching. That is amazing. Thank you, guys. Dave is doing the strange face. Okay. Um, so we'll do the um, first question basically with... Um, off. If we should do the random queue events that they added here, um, the new eight way to Grethor and the Herald Sphere, um, let me know what you think. We have seen the videos already on YouTube, so um, it's not really mandatory, I guess, and doing them on normal is not actually telling you that much. You can see with all the lag going on, it might not be too funny. So, um, let me know. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to talk about is the changes on Tribble used to decrease the lag pretty much to, I don't know, an, a, a good acceptable level. Um, however, when we did our first run today, it was pretty horrible. Uh, I actually recorded the thing. Um, the, this is what it looked like. I tried to full impulse twice. It didn't even go off. Uh, we have this. I, I don't even know what to call that. I mean, the problem is, or the good thing is actually, the weapons were properly shooting mostly. And even though this run was lagging absolutely horrible, there's hope the game ain't broke anymore. Um, basically, from the amount of reduced stacks and everything that they apparently did, um, at least the game itself is processed right in some way again, so we can actually shoot the enemy. Um, the DPS on this run was not good, but it wasn't horrible either. Um, and therefore there's hope still that this was only lagging so bad due to all the people patching and logging in. Um, as you can see here, it, it's just rather bad in place. So... I'll just a few seconds. My evasive didn't properly fire, so I'm on the 15 second cooldown for that. I'm trying to fly over there. Um, yeah, my fired wool didn't go off. So we had a lot of misfires, but I'm sort of hoping that this was more due to the uh, amount of people logging in. If you now look at the HP of the Nanite Transformer, while looking at the weapons, actually shooting it. It's actually interesting how it's not losing properly its HP. Should be that 10 folds over. Um, do you get the bonus turn rate even if pilot is set as secondary? That is a Pretty good question. If you put more points into it, you get the increased burn rate. I didn't really check. Uh, we probably can try that in a second though. Depends whether we can come to. <laughs> well, we could do that. I mean, the normal run should be not a big deal. We just uh, fight everyone in and do a quick run of that. Sphere is fun, ran a bunch of times in trouble. 
Yeah, I mean, there are the videos of it on Elite and everything. Um, I don't really dislike the missions. My major grudge with it is that they do this time gate thing to you, which just me means that you have to sit there for X amount of minutes and do something. I mean, in one of the missions, they hide it with the transport escort thing, but that's just another name for time gate. Um, I am personally not a big fan of time gate. The, the concept is just horrible. What's the first thing you will get on a Conian rep? Will we get anything at all? Uh, the run was like 48k DPS um, without a GDF and everything. So it's actually increased again quite a lot. Uh, I didn't lock into this tune since the last uh, live stream. So we'll just do that till level 10, which shouldn't take too long to uh, do the two new missions. A little time to load us into the new system map. Okay, we are super small. Where do we need to go? We need to be an officer. Probably this one. Okay, and go to Hector Trading Station. You must have at least 3,000 energy credits to transwap to beta th something. How long would it take to get there on the new map and we are super slow? On the consoles available, I kind of answered myself. Isn't the console available from this uh, lobby store? I mean, the console itself with... And I'm talking about the one that increases your... Um, maximum subsystem power seems mediocre, as I can tell. So, only if you have nothing else to put in there. Um, I don't know. I, I'm so far. I'm not really convinced we have anything that actually changes the game how we played it so far. So. Should be there. Will we be able to interact with it. We do have the and we are sitting right on top of it. No Delta recruit details. Someone mentioned on the Delta general tab something information. I could see the mission. That I need to do to gain the uh, Delta items. I guess he's referring to this one, right? I think we have it for just a second. There we go. Oh, Christ, we need to. Move. And there we go. Easy peasy. Come on, that was too easy. All right. Actually, I sort of like the idea of doing it in a uh, game with you guys later on. We have to think about how we assemble the team if we do have more than five people. Probably just do the... Um, first five to whisper or something. Okay, we need to find the smuggling ships. Turning around. Scanning it. Clean. Down low using the full impulse. I'm on your friends list. That is amazing. But the only problem is my friends list is somewhat extensive. Um, so I can't just randomly invite people from my friends list. I just did the new mission, the first one, and I died so many times during the ground combat. What happened? I didn't do it yet. We, we'll see that later. 
Let's see if my then level 10 tune will be able to do. Okay, hang aside. Not too special. We did scan that one already, didn't we? So I guess for the second ship up there, base thing that can get out of pump all impulse. Flying over there, those heralds. Yeah, I've heard that they have a bunch of annoying abilities. Use the intel stuff and everything. That one is clean too. Okay. One. Clean. Or this one we did already kill, so I don't know why spawning or doing anything. This guy and luckily on our second smaller to take out. Um, it has been suggested that I'm making it look too easy. Like someone said that on the um, diplomatic orders at Pajem, when you get to the final space battle and uh, he always died to the Undine ship, and I didn't die and. I, however, was not celebrating it enough. I don't know how you guys feel about that. <laughs> if we celebrate it more, I don't know. I, uh, by the way, uh, as I'm not allowed to put on any music, because otherwise the sound of it will get muted, um, you guys are free to use whatever music you like. Um, and I won't get my audio muted. So. Since I'm not actually hearing the audio right now, um, you guys need to give me some feedback if it's okay, alright, or super awesome. I have like 400 people on my friends list. I all know them. Well, I know the people on my friends list too. I guess so, yeah. You could say that I know them. Like, everyone is in some way related, but... Um, uh, if we want to do a huge run with people that are currently watching the stream, we can't just uh, randomly invite everyone. They have a gravimetric thing that's quite nasty on ground. God, you guys can't spawn all the mission for me now. I want to play it later on. Oh, he's a smuggler. Uh, breaking up the bar fight. Is that the pot? Inspect the bar. Oh, this one first. You could say it's quite attractive. Okay. What are you all listening to? Hi, Marcus. Ari Kelly. Oh, hi there. I didn't see your message. So, personal welcome. Good evening, Ari Kelly. Sorry for missing out on your post. I wish it gave you a count of people on your friends list, because I have no idea how many are. We have the Delta item here, which is not actually shown on any of these lists. Anything Iconian is valuable. Capital agent There's still fill up we don't brain. understand about their Anything Iconian is valuable to us. There's still much we don't attacks. have about their technology. We don't ha understand about their technology. And until we do, we cannot defend ourselves from their attacks. The crate. Now it shows up. Find Iconian Contraband. If we do that already or... Not sure. And now it's hidden again. Holy Christ. Hang on. Shooting them while moving. We'll need to wait for them. They fall over. Okay. Continuing through the only door that is available to us. I don't have any friends. Thomas J, we already know that you do because I'm on, on your friends list. 
And you also have uh, Cookie, obviously, so that is at least two. You won't get away that easily. Do we actually have to shoot them or are we just do that because... Can them all go to Silvercore or Grethog? Probably the way they fight right now. I think we should take turns. Suggest so music. Hey, you go first. Don't think it. Just say what to Google. Um, possibly we should. We just shouldn't give a crap about. Uh, the audio portion of the recording and just say yeah this is a live event and if you don't like it don't watch it and just put in a uh, audio thing we have to rescue them all to unlock this one or it's not showing as interactive right now i know there are certain things that can uh like up uh, music on YouTube or something that is pretty funny I guess uh, you get lots of variety on music style then at least so the captain throwing a grenade and the split beam rifle the captains actually do have a lot of HP just dragging him so my whole crew flanks him I hope I won't fall over. Okay. Possibly should get our science guys some healing abilities. The duck song, obviously. Yeah, that one is a little too obvious though. Hey. Okay. Oh, the duck song. Till the very next day, oh god. Marcus is next, apparently. So, fighting off the last ship. Will it get support? That question. Turning to broadside. Firing at will. And trying to stay on its low shield facing arcs. This way, they're actually distributing shields. So the AI on this enemy is amazing. And fell over just like that. Alright, awesome. That should get us to level 9. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Go. Secret orders. System. Ranky do space, good evening. Hey Ryan, chat is not working on my computer, Soros. So here I am with my total awesomeness Blackberry phone. That is amazing, dude. <laughs> At least something creative solved the issue. Um, how many people are currently watching the stream? 16. And we have like six people active in the stream chat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have six people. So I guess more people do actually have some uh, chatting issues. Which makes it difficult to do a giveaway in some way. Um, I'll probably just give it a, some more time. Um, what would you guys like more? What would you guys uh, go for 10? Beam upgrade kits are T, uh, 10 science kits. I mean, that, that is obviously the easy thing to give away. It's pretty much easy if you sell it. Everyone can use them. And everyone needs those. So, um, I guess it's one of the best things to give away. This one is currently Chrome. And I don't know why it's working. Um, the one on Internet, Internet Explorer is still not loading. Okay, flying over there. Uh, allocating some skill points. Probably back pattern. Um, 
Build and manners. Awesome ground combat. Second armor flight status. Total endurance time a little longer than before. Marcus has some strange ideas about music. Um, possibly a piano thing, but I don't know. Fine, you should give away free hugs in game. I hug you guys all the time, you just can't see it because it's not properly uh, transmitting over the stream. But everyone may feel cuddled, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you how to do it. Um, I guess that's with the uh, wave emote, isn't it? Into the briar patch, secret on us, and beginning of the mission. Blackberry has its own browser app. Do you actually see the stream on there, or um, do you only have the stream chat though? Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this one. Where you don't want to fly into the matter and gas clouds because they ignite and deal damage to you. Damage is not that much anymore. Um, and you have to watch out for some Klingons that are flying around in this gas cloud. You only have to take out the uh, disruptor cannons though, so you can just fly around and uh, not get involved in any combat mostly. Um, Therefore, you should put your power to engines, and that way uh, go a lot faster on this one, as you cannot go to Ship Fallen Pole. Weapons. Killing the heavy disruptor cannon. Short people do back and end, tall people do the aim stance. Oh yeah, the aim stance. The two. Line over to the second arrow. Um, where are the Klingons? Right in front, but it's all fighters, so we should not lose time with them. Or two weapons again. In the base of maneuvers, increase our speed. Nice on Yeah, all that. And. That shall be the end of them. Going around to drop the cannon, then flying into the donut. Once it's dead. Okay. Power to engines again. Um, this is a 45, 46 minutes long, Marcus. That is probably cheating. We should have a limit of five minutes, I guess. There are some somewhat lengthy ones, but. Five minutes should accommodate every uh, good suggestion. I have chat on my iPad and the stream on my Apple TV. Okay, you are a professional. Why are you even still using Apple? They don't even support 10-bit uh, graphics. I mean, your Photo resolution on colors is just horrible with 8 bits. You do realize that, right? Uh, just to give you some more incentive to get onto a real uh, computer. Just saying. Um, I can do both, but I'm watching you on my old computer. My new PC shut off at the moment. Chat on my phone. All right, nice. Cookie, it's a classical piece for orchestra. It's composed by a Tech guy. I don't really see that supporting the point of um, how it's 46 minutes long and we should actually watch it. I think that's a little excessive. <laughs> Frankie, to answer your question, it, it's at 2 p.m. Central Time this Friday. What did he ask? Oh. Your event time, I guess. You guys are doing a little live stream then, huh? Beam into the station. They just got schooled. No, he didn't. He knows all that. I'm just teasing him about it. Well, and he got schooled on SEO. 
pretty frequently, I guess. He, he well, he is actually a guy that I feel like uh, had too much of, you know, this is how I want to do it, this is how I do it uh, mentality. So um, when we started out, and I think he watched a lot of my videos, so um, I feel like he really improved with gameplay, and I'm decently sure that when the lag is gone, uh, we'll get even further. So, um, I don't know. If people are not really used to playing computer games, uh, STO is really not easy to start out with, which is why we are doing all the educational stuff. I mean, we are almost at 10 hours of semi explanation teaching dreams, right? So if you watch all that, I guess you get a pretty good idea on what's going on. Promise a lot of people just go in there and say, yeah, this is how I do it. I don't really care how I also could do it, even though it might be better. Um, but I guess that's fine. I mean, if you're fine with what you're doing, uh, I'm fine with it too. But if th this is just a suggestion. And if you look at the people that actually listen to what I try to tell them, most of them came back with positive feedback as in they actually have more fun playing the game now. So I'll continue doing my stuff and if you like it that is amazing, if you don't that's fine too. They can school you on photographing beautiful women. If that ever comes up in Convo. I know, I saw some of his pictures. They are pretty amazing. And he did uh, some of the uh, DPS channel graphics, and he even got me two uh, desktop backgrounds that are pretty good. So I know how good he is. He, he's a professional dude. I mean, The lag is awesome and the players love it. I don't know. Listening to Ryan makes the game easy. Well, some people apparently enjoy a difficult game over an easy one. And if that is true, then you might not want to listen. I don't know. Okay, Marcus, your turn is over early now. The real David Fu is listening to Han Sparta Remix, whatever that is. I have never heard, I guess, I don't know, not the title at least. Okay, going all the experimental weaponry. Uh, by the way, when I announce the stuff on Twitter, is it fine when I just put in the, um, New York time and Germany because that is pretty easy for me to do or uh, do we need anything else or would you like something entirely different or or I don't notice promise I don't really work on a schedule so I don't really know when I'll do the next one so I can't really tell you three days uh, before it will actually happen you know I have uh, always get certain requests off uh, if I couldn't tell it earlier. I like that you put the New York time, that was helpful. Okay, beaming up to the ship as these people are all dead. Um, yep. That is one hour later than my time. Yeah, I mean, when you guys pretty well know what other times you are referring to, like one hour from your time you pretty easily know what that is, right? While I have to uh, actually bring up all the charts of where stuff is and that's, I don't know, just in one time zone that is uh, understandable, well everyone in the states should be fine I guess, and Germany is pretty much known probably across uh, 
Europe, so people should know when that is. It's one hour ahead of yours, so when it's um, 10 p.m. in Germany, it's 9 in Great Britain. Putting uh, power to engines to catch up with him a little more quickly. Turning to broadside, immersive weapons, fire at will and shooting him. Even though we didn't wait for our um, weapons power to get up to full strength. Right though. Reversing power uh, on engines to make him actually come at us. And of how you guys maneuver when fighting the NPCs. Uh, usually they will turn towards you if you fly slowly backwards. The only thing that you have to do is um, stop flying backwards and flying backwards again uh, to remove that debuff that reduces all of your power system. Which is why he just. Uh, Blue or was trying to fly at me all the time. Turning away. Okay, that should be all the ships. We need to drop Comet and then remote detonate the thing. And that's it for this mission. Um. All right. So yes, indeed, I'm aligned with New York. Ryan, what is your favorite alcoholic beverage? If you drink, that is. Someone calling me a vice beer fan. Um, alcoholic beverage. There are so many that are. I mean, they they are interesting in taste, but I wouldn't necessarily call them uh, very good. I guess they are drinkable. I don't know. Uh, I drank some beer in my life, I drank some wine in my life, but never to an excessive amount, like once a month or something like that. Promotion to Lieutenant Commander, the next mission, and we should be able to do the Delta Recruit thing, not about the uh, new missions. Ale, we know. accept, and return to ESD to our promotion first. And we need to find on this beautiful map. No gold system. Can we jump there somehow? I don't see anything, so I guess I'll just fly over there. I'll have a very short break. And once the flying is done, I'll hopefully be back. See you guys in just a second. I have returned. Promise the flying has not yet entirely commenced. So we do have some more waiting to do. Um. Ah, uh, I don't even know. 
about that. This is a little too long a flight, dude. Okay. So, I'm just trying to picture you tipsy and wondering what that would be like. Um, usually I don't talk anymore, or at least not a lot, and I get uh, pretty tired. So, it's not really that amazing. Might be a reason why I don't do it that often. Um, Jay, I bet he sings. No. Is he going to take a shot of something? A shot of water has been taken. I can confirm. Wow, now we get to see how long it really takes to travel through sector space. I can barely see a ship. Well, it is pretty small, I guess. They scaled it to super small and the lighting seems a little off. Uh, I'm running again on minimum settings. Uh, might be part of the reason, but I don't know. I'm making chili if anyone wants some. I already had dinner. And her salt system. God, should we actually go to ESD? It might be lagging horribly now. To get over there, docking, get our new ship. Um. What kind? Oh dear god, you scared me, Ryan. Always at your service. That is the new sector space. Yes, it is. What's so funny? Well, that's the opposite of what I do. Well, I get tired, but only if it's hard liquor. Wine doesn't do that to me. Minimum won't show much at all. That is very true, but enables us to have pretty good uh, frame rates for you guys. Just live with that. Um, Hey, we get our promotion to Lieutenant Commander. And it's still in progress? Okay, we have to go to the shipyard. So, on the new sector map, which is not actually bigger than the old one, um, your ship just got scaled to super small. So, that is why the map is looking bigger. They changed the lighting to show off more textures. Well, that worked very well. At least on minimum settings. I guess on uh, maximum it will be fine, but I'll have to check later. Um, so which ships can we get? And these ones now, right? And commander ones. Um, we do have from the giveaway stuff. The uh, science vessel for free, which has two and two weapons. This one has three and one. Uh, one tech console. Yeah, I guess I'll just go with the escort. Science ship. Won't do much else here. So we get the USS Odin. Readying the starship. And we don't get the automated equipment of items. I don't know why that is. Chromium that we got, which actually thing, but um could put on a torpedo, just ton of it and see that these levels are not that bad. They apparently don't really fail that much, so doing some one shots to NPC that might be not that bad. Um we'll just skip go in. It sucks we have enough of those. Cannons, I don't know. Cannons might be a little interesting. Also, the uh, scaling arrays on ground show 1.8 DPS, which is amazing.
In 12 minutes I need to open a lockbox cause someone said that chances are better at 12 minutes after so it's worth a try. Uh, all these rumors never work for me but you might have some fun with that. Lower settings, what doesn't see the low settings? It's super clear and fluidic. Um, yeah, but the in-game graphics settings are set to horrible. Brutal light problems, basically. So, let's see what we can do this thing. Um, we need to put on bridge officers or tactical. Um, like this guy and the other guy, uh, and we need a manual for Brad. That. That. That I'm too old. Okay, awesome. So we have this brutal ship which has one tag console on it, obliterate stuff. And when you're in the beaming animation for some reason, uh, your mouse gets locked out of movement. So I usually um, tab out with the Windows button and then can move on a secondary screen screen which is why the window every now and then shows up okay cool so put now weapons to auto fire and as the guy seven years ago said put your power to weapons if you want to deal damage put the race there auto weapon backpedal alpha invasives getting the new mission we have to listen to something. We might have. Ryan, why do you keep your TOS weapons? Are they super powerful? No, they are not, but they do level with you until you reach um, level 50 or Mach 12 equivalent so I just don't have to go to the um, vendor every 10 levels to get the new one good evening Balakin FX welcome and thank you for coming we yeah. gathered here the finest commanders from Starfleet the Klingon Defense Force and the Romulan Republic we may have been enemies in the past. Now, we must fight as one. May I introduce Captain Cogrin? He will coordinate our combined forces against the Iconians and report to the commanders of all three fleets. Greetings. The Iconians have revealed themselves. War is now inevitable. While the Iconians themselves are few in number, their heralds are numerous and formidable. They are not like the servitors we have fought before. They are far more dangerous. We are already sending strike teams into the sphere the Heralds use to access the Iconian gateway network. They will retaliate. We'll see about that cookie. They, <laughs> they will attack our most valuable targets. The gateways allow the Heralds to strike anywhere. They can avoid or destroy any obstacle in their path. Therefore, the Alliance has decided to focus on defending key installations. We need time. You guys actually hear something. To that end, let me introduce Captain Tom Paris. Hello, everyone. Oh, he looks awkward. Okay. We've learned a few things that could be a weakness in the Herald strategy. If we can exploit this, we can. It's beginning. Their goal appears to be New Romulus. The Federation has a star base nearby. Captain Paris, take your task force and the bulk of the fleet to New Right now, that star base is all that stands between the Heralds and New Romulus. 
Hold the heralds there as long as you can. We need time to evacuate civilians and prepare defenses at New Romulus. Today is a good day to die. I don't know about how they depicted Tom Harris in there. All ships, defend the starbase. I've never seen anything like these Herald ships before. Warning, ship is under attack. There's too many of them. Begin evacuation procedures. So we probably shouldn't aggro all. Quite a lot of it. And oh my god, he is not taking much damage. <gasps> Dabling our weapons with Iron Matrix. Not very nice of him. Target's shields have failed. Student. Hey, a secondary deflector. They really don't like us. Turning, do they? Okay. We don't have. We got our weapons disabled. Target shields have failed. We'll just fly around in a circle. And wait until it goes away. Okay. Distributing sh some shields. That's probably a good plan if you don't have it left on that facing where they're shooting you. Usually you would go for attack team, but as I don't have one on this ship, um, I'll just go with the regular distribute shields. Starting my run from the station. Do you even have any buffs? Not really. We have one science slot, one engineer slot, and a lieutenant and an ensign. All oh, these ramming things are horribly killing our hull. This is amazing. <laughs> are their shuttles stronger than we are? That is the question. They certainly are bigger. Oh, they really could stop ramming us. Uh, 3% <laughs> hull left. We might have bad news, guys. We might actually die on this. 1% hull is not a lot to roll on. And we do have some shields left, but they just don't care. Luckily, we don't have to repair our ship, as this is only normal difficulty. So, <laughs> we are just doing this for the giggles, as you might expect when I'm doing the mission at level 10. Sloan died in DS9. Well, you know, Sloan, he he faked his death a couple of times. But then again, his dying, where they really killed him dead, I don't know. I'd suggest, or I think that he's actually dead too. But you never know. I mean, in, S in Star Trek, they could just write that he faked his death somehow. Um, I watched so many Trek, I remember all their voices, voice tones. How do you remember all of them? I don't know. I mean, I watched them all quite a couple of times, so... I guess you have a pretty good idea, but I wouldn't say 100% that this is how he sounded on this and that. Uh, Ryan and Chad, I'm watching you live for the first time, but I have seen all your videos on YouTube. That's nice, thank you. However, there's, or usually, let's say, there has been more content on the live stream, which is far older than the YouTube itself. Super Gateway channeling this. Grab onto it, so we'll just hit it with the uh, torpedo spread to make it go away. Uh, and we have this blurry animation focus. on us. The the next wave. 
We are losing shuttles out the perimeter. Okay. Uh, welcome to the stream for the first time. Nice to have someone new in and enjoy the show. If you have any questions, remarks or whatever, just drop something to chat. I won't bite you and most people on chat won't bite you. At least not anytime soon. All of the civilians and most of the crew Report to new Romulus. At least that's something. Even though they have the whole Nothing fleet there, huh? That star base. Fall back to okay. We could have played this with you, Ryan. Unless it doesn't let you do it as a group. I'm not sure. I haven't tried. I don't know. I just uh, had the idea of doing this with the level 10 soon earlier. Wow, what is this? The USS Mercury. Walking like a shuttle. Possibly it's... Wow, that is not really fine, is it? I hope it's not. Using the new pilot ability right there. Uh, which is only shooting backwards, so it has been wasted. But okay. Hi, Crystal. This is Ryan's main tune. Isn't it really squishy and weak? Yeah, it's my main Delta tune. It's level 10. It's so handsome. He dies a lot. This tune has died a total of one time in his entire lifetime. And you just saw how that happened. They rammed me dead. Which is lame. I mean, even the, uh, the minion did that to the Odyssey. Or, what was the ship's name? Odyssey? I think it was. And even though they thought that was lame, so... Yeah. Just shooting these things. Target shields have failed. Twelve cookie. Not sure which twelve that oh, possibly twice or something. I got an R and D pack and five lobby. There's just one more group between you and the planet. Are you guys buying the new lockbox? Or opening those, I mean? Do you like them? I don't know. I'm not convinced. You're close, but the fighting on the ground is getting worse. They need you down there. The new pilot ship. Um This will probably be the Federation pilot ship, I guess, considering it just used the pilot ability. So there are good chances. That will be it, and it looks something like a Defiant, if you... Or, or it could be a shuttle. The pilot shuttle might be another name for it. Um, but size-wise, and the layout with the uh, engines back there, and I don't know, the wings, it, it might be a Defiant. That is at least the only thing that has any, any resemblance at all with, that I can tell. Beam to the surface. The situation and use its pilot ability again. And down. Kind of energy damage to the Herald Steel. Let us check that out. So we go to Comet Lock Reader. And. What chips do we have here? Are of any interest. The Iconian Viral Pro. Enemy, the Baltim Raider might be a thing that deals anti proton damage and impact. Was so uh, clearly the one that rammed us. So I would say they deal anti proton mostly. Those energy gateway not deal. I think it channeled that beam on uh, onto us. Huh? The Kuash Cruiser dealt anti-proton array damage, so the Dyson Shield will be pretty good for this, and the Transphasic Torpedo Salvo too. And they also have the regular shooting that. 
Okay, so uh, the answer is anachron. Let me, however, bring up the stream chat again. Oh, did they kill the apple fields? That is not very nice. They shouldn't have done that. All our Romulan marks do come from. We shall defend this with all that we can. A nice red animation on the ground indicating where the AoE thing will happen. Usually standing in the fire, whether it may be blue, red, or yellow, will always be a bad thing, so don't stand in the fire. Rendezvous with reinforcements. Thank you. Now that the Yes, that punch. I got a trade. Yeah, but the trades are defensive ones mostly, I guess. I don't know. I didn't find them super. Um. Come on, run out of there. Got my shields. I didn't find them overly convincing. We need to retake this area. I just tried. Just once. I probably won't try again though. Yeah. I don't know. I I opened lock boxes and R and D packs for uh, the lobby of it. And that is basically all I ever did, and I got a total of one chip out of it. Which is, I guess, pretty lucky, but it, it was in one of the last ones I opened, and I opened a lot of boxes for all my students with all the Loewe that is... I don't know. I don't feel like it's rewarding to actually just open these boxes for what comes out of it if you're not going for the Loewe of it. I don't know. Possibly if you know the RNG there and get awesomely lucky, then it can be good, but... Nothing really for me. Um, mine type ground trade. Yeah, that is where you get 8% more damage if someone else uses it too, right? But we have to try if multiple people do actually stack. Like if you get three people with it and you get that stack and all of them three times, or if it's still back to two. Sensors indicate Herald forces inbound to this position. We must hold and ruins on hills. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some chips. Wow. I like chips too. <laughs> I prefer chocolate instead of chips. But for those, I like veggie chips. VG? I don't know. Uh, usually. You have to combine those two. I don't know. If you're going that direction, you have to go that extra mile and just uh, do both things, which is probably the worst that you can do. But I I don't know. It just counteracts, or I don't know. It, it just adds to each other. So uh, I usually do both if I ever do it. More reason to get the Dyson Reputation set. Yeah, the Dyson set is pretty good. Uh, the um, shield especially. Wow, he is just slaughtering us with his um, overhead smash thing. Just one shot at me and... Or I don't know actually how much HP I had, but he one shot one of our bridge officers. So that seems to be pretty violent. I like salt. Next, we must salt chips too? Or how's that interacting? Feel the path through the dig sites. They might not actually be using most of their abilities at this level, huh? I mean, they are appearing out of nowhere, putting down that those red fields that we saw, and they deal some strange damage. That seems to be it for now. I have to find someone. To show us that trick of pulling us into it. Constructor building something that we cannot see outside of beams. That 
That is tasty indeed. Fries with salt. That's the best. McDonald's. Um, I never liked McDonald's for its fries. I don't know. They only have these mediocrishly okay ones that are... I don't know. I, I don't really find them to be the best, but it's pretty difficult to find really good fries lately. Giving us some to cookie. What? Yeah, this ground is rough. I mean, so far it hasn't been very difficult. They, they just decided to watch us once and that's been that, but outside we just we run ahead the shooting them. There is a camp near the doing our aim thing there will be reinforcements there. and liberating our Epos. I didn't rename my ship to USS Apple. Such a shame. Didn't think about that. The USS Apple is amazing though. I guess everyone has some memory of the winter event when they have this lady calling out for the Apples. That voiceover was just amazing. Okay. I think we for more reinforcement. Using mines helps some on the ground. That is very true, but only if you are an engineer or do have it with you. And I don't really think that your crew will be bright enough to use them properly. So you would have to direct them with the movement command. Okay. Reinforcements are on their way. Watch out. Keep the mines opening to the east. Take cover. I don't even know what they cover. He does his overhead slam and he puts on this radish uh, thing on the ground. So that is where I don't want to stand inside of. There is a gateway opening to the north. Dad? And we have a nice time gate of waiting. And some more enemies come in. Question is, do they respawn when we killed the last one? So we might just have to let them live and kill them the last second? He does his obliteration thing again. Run out of. Watch out! Gateway opening to the okay. east. Yeah, they seem to spawn when we killed the last wave. Power. Almost taken out. Um, tactical bridge officer. Actually. It now that is not very nice of him. Our bridge officers doing a beautiful job at resurrecting each other. It's good, a little sweet. I like fries dipped in vanilla ice cream. That's the only time I like ice cream. Wow. What? Oh, ice cream is amazing. Dip them, uh, rice into vanilla ice cream? I have never thought of that. It sounds really strange. <laughs> I don't know if I dare ever try that. Oh, so they launch at us again. Nice. We'll just run in circles because he seems to Limited to melee attacks. We run, come on. Our bridge officers dying all over the place. We indeed cannot. 
we shall use the hypo spray knife run around and i would really like it if they wouldn't shoot through this wall like line of sight dude line of sight come on have some sense can't jump up this cliff it's Christ. Your bridge officers don't have any abilities. Yeah, it might actually be somewhat difficult. Right. And we might have dragged one guy down here. But we could actually just have stuck them behind that thing, huh? Okay. That should be the end of them. We have retaken. Can't help us either. The ruins are ours. Is it worth using all of fire on ground? How would it work with primary and secondary fire? I have never tried auto fire on ground. Quick, Is that even a thing? Probably not. As you have to alternate between firing stuff and using abilities, which is... Um, you actually have to tap the firing every single time. To keep shooting like you don't get these firing cycles but you just uh, shoot just once this is the ground map which everyone knows heavy casualties with the wrong reputation after turning in the apples who i think there was this iconic gateway down below right sensors are picking up some unusual power emanations from the surface be careful want to attack them all they see Okay, damage in here. Right behind. Going into aiming mode. As often as. It is a thing. Well, that is good to know. I have never tried it. The difference is probably pretty small. We see it working out that well. I also love popcorn and Reese's pieces. Popcorn is alright. Uh, salty or sweet ones? That is the, re the real question. But since you like salt, I guess we will go with salty ones for you, huh? I personally prefer the salty ones too. I don't know. Popcorn, that just seems more. Come on, heal me up. Well, I will fall over, putting down all those red fields around. Not very nice. We can get some of our bridge off. We are indeed a little. Uh, Oh, on healing powers on this. So, so this might just take a little while. Marketing. Bridge officers. While he is slaughtering the other ones. Disgusting. Stop it. Should be a line of sight. Enough. We get hit anyways. I am easily sure we were out of that. Okay. Right. And I would appreciate it if he would stop shooting through walls. Grenade. The 
this thing to light him since my character can't turn while shooting him. Attack by make me fall over. Which gives us some time to replicate round devices. Still not that. Oh. Our bridge officers are denying to kill him. Three of those effects is pretty damn harsh, I'd say. I wonder if he will be able to resurrect us. Oh, pretty close, but it should work. There we go. <laughs> God, this is crazy and amazing. Oh, don't get stuck in the black thing while resurrecting. And stop shooting me through the wall. God damn it. This must work. Okay, that. Bridge officer dead again. On the floor. Oh my god, he is coming to engage. We do not have any bridge officers left to take some of the fire. I resurrect him. Hypo spray. Shooting him, throwing the grenade. Kind of siding with this thing to regain shield power. Come on. We are shooting the wall, it seems. And he shall just like that fall over. Pretty damn easy, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's how you do that if you are at level 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many deaths is that now, Ryan? I don't know how many times I died. I didn't really count. Uh, I don't think the entire away team died once, though. So it's not actually counting as wipe per se. We will use the console. Acknowledged. Should I do this mission on advanced? If you are level 50, it might be a thing. If you are level 10, you probably shouldn't. You need a bridge officer or science guy that has uh, good healing and then you should be fine, really. Um, Usually the thing is that you can't take all the damage at once, so you need to run around and kite them around. And it shouldn't be too big a deal. Right. Gateway. I'm a little busy. And here we go. Through the gateway. They had Lana Taurus on the screenshot or the background, didn't they? Welcome. Long have we waited for our children to seek us out. You know of the Echo. And their program for this line of you like to wake? Would you like to wake one of my creators and ask her all the questions you wish? Reserve our archivist, lying in the creator. Round. Greetings, my child. Long have I slumbered. Why have you roused my? Greetings, Ancient One. We face a great threat from the people known as the Iconians, and we have to come to seek your help. Ah, uh, the Iconians. They probably have their own voice over.
Oh, okay. Now oh, we have to... Oh, this is a joke, isn't it? They don't get scaled down. We might have a good chance with this if they don't move. Now that I have one of my away team is dead, uh, and we only have to defend the priest server, uh, we might actually have a chance of this success. But them being level 60 is a little over the edge. <laughs> There's just no way. Um. Yeah, streaming. I, I don't really do it that often, the problem is there's not really that much to stream about, I guess. I mean, the YouTube more is more a highlight thing, right? And yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like showing how to uh, do duty officer mission or start on d things. So, yeah. Okay, okay, I still need to make my new and seventh character. Still need to make my Delta tune. Yeah. Okay, what you missed is that they are level 60. They are 50 level above me. So there's no real chance of doing this. But we only have to defend the preserver, so we are still making the mission. It's not a big deal. Respawn. And they come to engage. And. Oh no, we have to defend the remaining heralds. No! That is horrible, come on. Can't do that. <laughs> oh god. Boom, and we're dead again. <laughs> I wonder how long it will take us to kill them. Anyone has a stopwatch? <laughs> Just waiting for the away team to fall over as they all do get one shot. Of Very nice indeed. I mean, they, they don't really add many hit points, right? They, they will die at some point. And we're dead again. So not getting scaled up is somewhat a problem if the mission is deciding to troll you like this. Uh, I wonder though how this gets through QA. I mean if the mission is playable at level 10, I would think that someone actually tried running it at level 10 and I wonder how he did this. Because this is not actually a good thing. And if this were in space, we probably couldn't even do it, no matter what. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's just hope that the next parts are not deciding to troll us over like that. He is dying just that, that easily. I mean, level 60, he should have won amazing amounts of expertise and kill points. But sad thing is, they do not. I'll just shoot them all dead. Easy peasy, just like that. Okay, no one saw that. How horribly that went. Okay, easy. Stand against us. Not 
that even you. The creator. He created Frankenstein. Use the fire extinguisher. Good idea. Is that laminate? Indeed it is. Will he put this on YouTube? How am I supposed to know? Why do you ask me questions I cannot answer? The Kuwash Cruiser. Hold of Heralds. Okay, so let's do... Just way of holding off heralds. That should be flying away as they will just respawn if we kill them. So there's no real point. Got any grapes? No, we only sell lemonade. What's that when that dude died? Poor guy. Yeah, I don't know. If your own creation kills you, I guess that is always a sad moment in time for you. I'm not even 60 yet, still I'm doing the Delta story on my main. Well, the Delta story is meant for level 50 to 60. The fleet is one so, Keep that's fine. This is a special one that you get um, for going to Overview and the uh, Blood of Ancient and Delta Flight, the featured series. I'm not... <laughs> we only sell lemonade, that was good. Glad you like it. Just a little longer. Okay, flying away just a little longer, as he says. I see flying the Mercury, though. Shooting off those quantum torpedoes. Some turrets or cannons. Getting disabled by Byron Matrix. Iconian fire probe flying at us. Okay. MP probe. Okay, so nice. We get a command ship. And the cavalry arrives just in the nick of time. Okay, defeat. Let's show Herald forces. One minute. There. Uh, what does that mean? We have to do it within a minute? I can't roll really like that. I think I'm 58. That's pretty good. Um, promise you might run out of missions off the Delta storyline. So I'm not entirely sure what you do then. Um, probably do some of the uh, patrol missions or replay episodes. I'm personally not a big fan of replaying episodes. I don't know. But I don't like that. Okay, so we shouldn't fly into them for the tractor beam. It's pretty horrible to us. And it's actually ripping our hull apart. We'll hold the Herald forces here. Alpha team. Engage that dreadnought before it can power up its weapons. Running around for the torpedo spread if we can. I mean, we get disabled on this all the time. We don't have any of the, um... We had that again, by the way. <laughs> we, uh, don't have any of the healing or repair abilities like engineer to remove, um... Viral Matrix. I guess we just have to take on this. Engage the Dreadnought. Warning. All in good time. All in good time. Some rubber banding. So, it's probably going to destroy the planet, right? 
Like that is what happens. They do the types of animation. And wonder or oh wonder. Ship surviving at one HP. Pretty safe. No big deal. Today is a dark day for the Alliance. Starbase 234 is lost. The Iconians destroyed the gateway on New Romulus. Our fleet was defeated. And in one day, we lost a quarter of our ships. The preservers are gone. And with them goes our hope of understanding the Iconians. Although the Iconians have withdrawn from New Romulus, they can attack anywhere at any time. To be blunt, this may not be a war we can win, but we will make the Iconians pay dearly for their victory. We will continue to fight, to save what we can, to win where we can, and we will fight until the last one of us falls. Or clapping a little off there. Okay, I hope that will be the end of this mission. I mean, this took forever. Uh, therefore, we shall uh, not do part two today. You have served These missions, pretty great, and I put on That is pretty good. Perfect uh, available May, April 30th. Huh. The Iconians think what is this recipe? More. Stabilizing re think we are weak. resonance. They are oh, that's the new science uh, ability. And if need be, we All right, nice. So we'll do the next mission next time. And I guess we'll just do one of the two missions. Uh, on my main tune, obviously. So you guys get to choose which one. Pop in with Romulan. Part two isn't as long. Well, it's still pretty long, huh? I'm, I'm trying to actually keep this at around two hours. Problem is, well, already at about two hours. So, um, we'll just forego the next parts. And whoever whispers me first in game, Gets to play. How we do? The Howard Sphere. New. Only on normal difficulty. Saving some today. Uh. The rewards were actually pretty good for that one. I don't know about the sad powers yet, though. Uh, I don't think we got one right. Okay, Cupcakes wants to come along. Yay! We know that the Iconian forces are imminent. Their gateway technology means You don't need to know how to do it, it's normal. Calm down. It'll be right. A joint mission with his task force. I won't Specialization lie. qualification we'll pilot. So you actually have to do that while well, the Delta flight. You don't need to know how to do it. It's going to be right. Okay, we have two more slots open. You guys want to come along? Let me know. In game. If no one decides. And now is the time to uh, play this mission. Probably just uh, rank you some of these. A car. While we get the dagger out. Huh. 
we, we we do look pretty depressed, don't we? Slash emote Shakar. When the walls fell. Why do we hang over to the front like that? Cookie, it's normal difficulty. There's probably no way you can screw this up for everyone. Alright. So anyone in stream chat is coming in, logging in, or should I actually get us into the random queue? Come on guys, we have 15 people. This should be possible. We also can turn off the comment log if you guys feel like uh, that will put a bad light on something, I don't know. This is really uh, just flying through the new mission. Normal difficulty shouldn't be a big deal. Someone in 10k says, queues are impossible. Well, that sounds promising. Guys, anyone coming? Oh. It is called the Herald Sphere. Okay. Um, who wanted to come earlier? I think that was Dave. He's on ESD, so he might be okay. On us. He's doing. Where? Well, uh, we, we are looking for one more for the Herald Sphere normal, just to show the instance. I mean, you can uh, find those on uh, YouTube already. I thought as some integration uh, event thing, like we could just do it with people on the stream. But it seems like out of the 16 people, we have three so far. And we need one more. Frankie can't do it. Okay. Porch song will come along if we don't get anyone else. Laura Kelly, just a little earlier than Omelok, so um, see what we can do. Uh, Tomalak, whisper me in game once you're in.
okay we are making some space because Max would just have helped out so we are waiting for you Tom Luck to log in and then we can get this show on the road um You don't need to be level 60 for this, I'd say. Um, looking at this, um, you need to be level 50 if you do the normal one. So uh, you will get scaled down to 50 if you do normal. If you will get scaled to 60 if you do the advanced. And you will have to be level 60 for the elite. What are you loading on? Is it your iPad you're trying to play on now? Okay, well, well this. And by the way, thanks Marcus for helping out and all the other ones that would have jumped in to do this. Uh, we have Port Song, Sarcasm, PL Boy, so many people willing to help out. Um, making sure everyone has their traits and everything selected. Um, proper space and personal traits. So this is actually the first run that we do only uh, from the stream. You're never ready emotional. That is not. And Jay is always ready. He only knows how to kill. So the Herald Sphere. I mean, this will probably look a little too easy, but the time gate will show us um, how long it will take. Uh, for the first phase, we will have these four directions. I think it was four. Could have been three. Um, with gateways spawning and enemies coming from them, might actually be ships. So we have all on our friends list, a lot of people in here. Why is it not going? Huh. I don't know. And the names. Okay. So we'll just. A lot of people there already, so turn around this one. Get an auto going. Warning. Ship is under attack. And shoot. Have been up nucleonic carrier wave three, uh, which takes off a couple of our buffs. I probably should have uh, gotten in a uh, science team to clear that just stuff. Not increases, not very. Actually. Someone can do it. Warning. Ship is under attack. We are. We're looking good. 